Miami, Kansas City, winter weather. This is absolutely amazing. The key word of the day is not Tua time, and it's not Mahomes to Kelsey and Taylor Swift. The key word of the day when they play in this wild card game under the lights at Arrowhead will be winter vortex. Oh, my God. They are talking mega cold. 7 p.m. kickoff at Arrowhead, projection 7 degrees at kickoff, <laughs> dropping to zero by the time the game ends, winds constant of 10 to 16 miles an hour, ye old wind chill will be eight below. I ask, how are the Dolphins going to throw the football in that type of element? Miami, one in five versus playoff teams. Not a good show. Dropped two in a row, and they are really banged up. Tua Tagovailoa has got a shoulder issue. Tyreek Hill continues to play through an ankle, though he's doing phenomenal things. There is no Jalen Waddle, the other star wide receiver. Raheem Mostert, who's had a career year, still can't play knee and ankle. Miami's offense is averaging 409 yards per game, but you're not playing in the sunshine anymore. It's Tua versus Winter Vortex. Kansas City, you got Mahomes, 356 yards per game passing, 27 turnovers. You got Kelsey. You can trust them. But John Riley, who the hell else are you going to trust? Tony, Scantling, Sky Moore, <laughs> Gray, Watson, the backup tight ends. You have to trust your defense, which is giving up only 285 yards per game. It's got 54 sacks. And you're going to trust Weather Vortex to change everything that Miami is doing. I will say this, though. Mahomes is 9-2 and two in his career at Arrowhead in postseason football. Mm. So that's Miami's Kansas City storyline. And John Riley says it's going to be cold. I mean, well, you know, when you're playing ball and it's that cold, the football doesn't feel it's a rock. supple. It's like a freaking thing of cement, you know, and it's going to be tough. But, you know, Pacheco is on the Chiefs, and he's a, he's a good player. Yep. And they can pass to him, but he's going to run. I think he's going to have a big day. But it'll be interesting seeing Tyreek Hill on the other side now, you know, playing for Miami in Arrowhead. But I just remember following the Chargers back in the day when you were broadcasting at Arrowhead, and it would be crazy cold there during the winter as well. We, we won a game in the early 90s. We, we were a bad team at that point in time. And we went into Arrowhead and won a game. Marion Butts was the lead running back. I think Billy Joe Tolliver might have been the quarterback. That's how bad the roster was. <laughs> we beat them. We played a late Sunday game in December. Well, late Sunday, 4 o'clock start, I guess. And it was 9 degrees. And it was so cold. And the wind was whipping through that stadium, which is kind of a horseshoe in a bowl. And we beat them. They ran Marion Butts maybe 35 times, and we beat Kansas City in the Arctic, just Arctic. So I'm not so sure the issue is Mahomes and whom he can trust as Tua versus the weather vortex. Yeah, I mean, Tua is going to have a hell of a time there, and all the Dolphins are, because they they depend on that timing game so much, and you know the cold's going to throw them off. And you get 10 to 16 mile an hour winds circling around that stadium yeah and you're throwing and the ball's doing this <laughs> okay uh tough times let's go to the next game in the AF.